this lesson, we will put a loop on layer 1, which will fade in for 2 seconds. We'll then run for 5 seconds, but will not just fade to black, but will instead make a crossfade to a second clip. OK, so let us grab our first clip. And then let's activate the zero opacity. And let's save it to the timeline via store active. Plus plus 200 zero zero for another 2 seconds. Save the opacity. Store active. And now we want another 5 seconds. Then we'll change the opacity again. And we'll save the opacity. Another 2 seconds for setting the opacity to 0 again. Followed by a good friend, store active. Now comes the moment where we want a crossfade to clip number 2. So at the exact moment when clip 1 fades out, clip 2 has to fade in. So we'll go to the time where the second opacity value 255 has been set. You can either position your exact time by using the time axis or the control key in combination with the arrow keys will get you from key to key, which means you easily jump to the time spot you need. With the second clip you basically have to repeat the same process, but this time using a different layer. We selected layer 2, then select a clip and activate the zero opacity. Save it to the timeline by store active, plus 2 seconds. Activate opacity 255, right click in the time axis and store active plus 500 for another 5 seconds. Again, activate the opacity value of 255, right click, store active, and yet another 2 seconds, followed by activating the zero opacity value, which we now save. If we look at what we programmed so far, the first clip fades in for 2 seconds, runs for 5 seconds, and then we see a crossfade to the second clip on layer 2 which will run for 5 seconds as well, which then fades out. Let us now delete the second clip and I'll show you a much faster way of programming this in a second. Let us now delete the second clip. Everything that we've done in the first clip is basically going to be the same as in the second clip. So this means we can just copy the first clip with copy or control and C. So we copy it, go to layer 2 and use the command paste to selected devices to paste it. We now have the same programming logic, etc. in layer 2. All that's left to do now is to drag and drop the content from the project tree into the new clip and bingo! A simple copy and paste action has given us the crossfade result we wanted. We can now look at our complete composition once more. A loop on layer 1 with a 2 second fade in 5 second runtime, crossfade to a second loop. 